unzip this, unzip this. What is up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you for clicking on this so much. Allow me to use my outdoor experiences to a better year. Now, today, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see behind me, we are at the good old Galveston Island, specifically at Galveston Island State Park. You guys seem to really like the saltwater content, so here we are, folks. Spending the whole weekend out in Galveston Island to do some kayak fishing, some crabbing, and some bay fishing, all in one nice, glorious weekend. Staying at the newly renovated Galveston Island State Park that we are gonna check out here in a little bit. I'm excited, I can't wait to see it. New stuff, everything's new within the last six months, I think to a year they opened. So I am stoked to see what they got. In the meantime, I've got a truck loaded of stuff, as you guys see behind me, to unload and get camp set up. But I'm excited about this little camp, not that excited to get this stuff unloaded. I got a lot, it's hot. We, I bought the big boy out, I got the tent, bunch of fishing stuff, a big tarp, chairs, the kayak, this thing is full. We're gonna have ourselves a good time this weekend, folks. So let me get this thing unloaded, start getting situated. Check out this park, man. I heard it's got some nice stuff, so I'm excited to show you guys. So this stuff's gotta go. Let's get this set up. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, bro, you just made a video about how hot it was out here. You were really about to go camping for two nights in Galveston on the beach. And ladies and gentlemen, yes, yes we are. But ladies and gentlemen, we came prepared. Now, this is the site, pretty nice, I ain't gonna lie. This is the receptacle, I believe, make sure no wasps. Yeah. I believe it's a 20 amp receptacle, don't quote me. Something like that. Freaking, I don't know, 12 by 14, something like that. It's nice though. Don't have water, I thought we did, but we don't. It's high because the showers are just right there, so not a big deal. But I still got some stuff to unload. Let's get this camp set up in a hurry so we can check out this place. There she is, folks. Ain't much, but she's gonna do. Now, I did not account for the hour and a half it was gonna take me to build this thing because of the wind. It was insane. Ain't the safest job. You know, we got some 50 pound tests here holding it down. I hope that works. Now we're gonna be in some trouble. I might have to go stop and get some more twine of this stuff. I did not think about having to tie this stuff down, but it's, it's holding up for now. These little cleats on this platform come in clutch. Okay, that's gonna hold right. Now it's not gonna fly off. I do have some actual stronger twine holding. So we'll see. But it didn't got light. Purpose of this video. Show you guys this campsite. It's pretty legit. Like I said. It is recently renovated, redid the whole thing, so I wanna show you guys around. So let me put everything up and let's hit the road and explore this place before we try to go catch some crap. Now, maybe you're saying, bro, I got a tent. I don't know how to put one up. Just one person, I can't do it by myself. They got you, man, for just a little bit more. You can rent one of these really nice. Glamp sites, I don't know what you call them. Little tents. They are legit, nice and roomy. I don't know if anybody's in there. There might be. If it's still like that tomorrow, I'll get some videos. I'll put them in here right now. All right, so we're back the next day. Just packed, I'm sweating, you know what. And no one's here, I have confirmed. So you just undo these little clips here. Hard to do with one hand. Unzip this, unzip this, and this. And you got yourself a nice little cot. That's pretty sweet, huh? Not bad. And obviously they have regular primitive camping in the other lot back there, you guys can see some tents or some cars over there. And this is the area for the platforms like the one that I got. I ain't gonna lie, this platform is pretty convenient. It's nice and flat, it's the smoothest I've ever had a tent and the most level I've had it. So pretty cool perks that you don't really see at every park. Those little glamping things are legit. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are anything like your boy, I like to wake up in the morning and uh, drop the kids off at the pool, if you know what I'm saying. And no one likes a restroom that looks like an elementary school. And I gotta say, they did their thing on these restrooms. I ain't gonna lie, look at these grand countertops. 
spacious room. Really a room, stalls. Okay, okay. It's the men's, I'm sure the girls are cleaning. So the restrooms are super nice. I'm having a shower in the fire as well. Water fountains, they got some showers out there as well. Little dog shower, I guess, for your dog or little kids. That's for Shaquille O'Neal if he decides to come to the Galveston State Highland State Park. That's for us Nono folks. You know, rinse all that salty water out your bum. Nobody likes a salty bum. Now, probably my daughter's favorite part of this whole thing, because they will be here tomorrow, is gonna be the sweet beach access. So right behind me, you guys can see the campsite. There's old faithful tent right there. And just a couple yards away, a slight little hike, and you're right at the beach. I brought the, the little, uh, what do you call those? Canopies. I got some chairs. Girls are gonna be here tomorrow. They're looking forward to that. But ladies and gentlemen, my favorite part of this whole park has to be. Now if you know me, you know I love the ice. One 10 pound, two 10 pounds. Oh, and here the water. Oh, nice. Take cards. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at that. Look at that. Right here, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download and register for a free bag of ice. Buy 10, get one free. See, I love Texas State Parks. I just love them. So, amenity number one, ice machine. And I dig it. But all in all, man, I ain't gonna lie. This place is pretty legit. Brand new. It's only been open for maybe a year. Don't quote me. They did quite a good job, man. Shout out Texas Parks and Wildlife. I'm a huge fan. I get the, the park pass every year. See, I'll go get your fishing license, man. Get your hunting permit. Don't be cheap, get all that stuff. But enough of that, folks. We've got some time still on our hands. We've got a few traps to pick up from Akaida May. We mess around with the crabs this time, guys. We mess around. All right, gang, we made it, finally. You see the sun behind me is going down. We're on a mission for some crabs. Went to Academy, picked up this pretty little puppy. She is noise. The only thing I don't have for it is a tag, but we're gonna have to do. It's just one night, I'll get a tag for it tomorrow. This, if you guys don't know, is a bigger crab trap. Put the goodies in here, open this up a bit. They come in here, never get out. Next thing they see is a pot. Alrighty guys, y'all know the deal. Just got this sucker. Looks pretty nice, I ain't gonna lie. This is my rope. You're supposed to have a tag on it with your name and all that, but I just got it. They didn't have any of that, so we're gonna put it on tomorrow. I swear. And then the most important part: big old stinky drum, chicken drum. We'll put two in there for these bad mama jammas. Open these up a bit, just like that, and uh, let's go toss this bad boy. The goal is to check it tomorrow morning before we go kayak, so we'll see. So we got a chicken here. Some now we got that set up we're gonna let that sit we're gonna tie up a couple pieces of chicken on some uh braided line and do it the hard way seven inches dude easy he's an old one he's gonna use some good bait let's get it in the cooler the cooler all right folks crab number one let's go right at sunset i'll take it i'll take it we're crabbing and we got a crab so can't get mad at me guys can't get mad at me i'm out here trying no bro look at this guy this dude is huge. He's good for some eating. Oh, I might have to ball him up. We got one, folks. So, we got one on the line. I know 
I'm gonna at least have two in that trap tomorrow. At least two. So we're looking good. We're looking good. <sighs> All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one, man. Not a bad outing. Not a bad outing. It's getting late, man. I'm tired. It doesn't get any more nice than this. You hear the waves crashing. I got a tent there with the wind blowing. I don't even need the fan. It feels amazing. It's probably 70 degrees out here. Got a nice cold beverage. What else? We're gonna hit the kayak first light tomorrow. It's been a pleasure. I'm looking 